What's up everybody? So, normally at each change of season, I go over all my gear. I talk about the equipment that I'm carrying, the slight changes or the major changes. Now it hasn't varied that much from last season. We're considered just like fall, winter, because I don't think I did a video in the fall on my gear. But a lot of stuff stayed the same. Some of the stuff slightly changed, but I, listen, I love looking at gear just as much as you probably love looking at gear, so let's dig in. All right, so in no specific order, we're just gonna, we'll roll through everything that's in here and then I'll, I'll take an hour to pack it back up. Just kidding, but I can pack this pretty quick. Okay, haversack, I either have this folded up inside my kit for when I'm at camp, or I carry this extra with some food supplies, Monster Energies, and it also fits a uh, six pack of uh, 16 ounce beers perfectly. So I like to have this thing along with me. Inside, um, if I'm carrying this as this, I normally keep my slip pad in here. That way I could sit or kneel down till I get my camp set up and then uh, just odd and end type things, right? Okay, now on the outside, I have our wool blanket with bedroll straps. That's just attached to the bottom of my backpack. Um, this, if I have a campfire and my tarp set up, I'm okay, down to uh, about 20 degrees. Below that, I'm gonna need to probably add another blanket. Um, I mean, I could get away with this in colder temperatures, but overall, um, I would add another blanket if it's gonna be super, super, super cold. So that's what I got for sleepwear. This is a Filson backpack. Yes, it's expensive, but it is holding up. I can't explain how well this bag's holding up. I have no tears, no rips, no pulls, nothing, and I beat this up. It got drugged behind the side-by-side -side already. I think it got ran over with the side-by-side. -side. It's been out in weather, rain, snow, sleet, and it just gets better with age. So although it's expensive, um, they will fix it, replace it for life. Um, great, great backpack. I love it. I love the size of it, everything like that. Now I know what you're thinking. Dig into that kit. Yes, and I can't remember the name of the Filson bag. You'd have to go on their website. But anyway, I'm gonna dig in now all the good stuff. Oh, side note, I do always on my hip have my belt knife. I switch out my knives quite often, so it depends on uh, what the flavor of the week is for me, um, what I'm carrying on my uh, belt knife. Okay, front compartment of my bag. Okay, I try to keep things in here that I wanna grab often. I keep a small little flask. This is what I've been using just for water, um, aka whiskey, just kidding. I do keep water in this thing. In the winter time, although we should still be drinking as much year round as we always do, I don't find myself drinking as much. So um, I think that something small like this, and it looks cool, um, does the job for me. I also keep fire starting stuff in here just in case I gotta get at it quick. So what I have in here is I have a lighter, I have some fire starters that I made, and I have my fair Syrian rod. I keep my bandana and signal flag, it's all in one, in here because I use this if I have to grab anything or if I have to wipe my hands off or if I bleed or anything like that. You can see it's dirty, but I really don't care. I just like to have this along with me. Plus it's great for signaling. I keep my fork and spoon combo in here also. It just, I, I'm always grabbing this thing because I love to eat. I have a utility blade and my pencil. Now one thing that I have changed in this kit is that everything has like a little pouch. So if I want to remove it, I can. I don't got to pull each individual component out. This pouch itself, this keeps my notepad um, and my compass in here, okay? So that way I have all that organized. At the bottom I have a little bit of string and some stakes in case I'm um, doing self mapping in this, but this is like my little navigation kit that I have inside of here. And that's all I have in my front pocket. Okay, now onto the main compartment itself. You can see my cup is falling out. I literally switch cups out like I switch underwear not too often, just kidding. Um, I switch cups out all the time. This one, I was like, ah, oh, this looks great. We got the Bushman class coming up and um, it just, I can eat out of it. Nice old size there. All right, I'm gonna pull some of the bigger stuff out of the back. I do have my Trekker tarp with me. So that has been my shelter system I have been using recently, along with my gum blanket. So my gum blanket's just folded in the back compartment there. And then again, remember, team that up with the wool blanket and I'm golden. So that's, uh, sleep-wise, that's what we're looking at there. Now, 
Again, back to, I have little bags for everything. I have my repair kit along with me, okay? All the normal components that we sell in our repair kit. The only additional things that I have in here is I have a sharpening stone, okay? So I could touch up all my tools. And then I also have this old marbles match case. The only thing is there's not matches inside of here. So when you open this thing up, I have a whole bunch of S needles. I am S needle crazy. Now I honestly, I have some other needles in there, but I just feel like S needles for everything that we do out here, if it's stitching up a hide, repairing any of our heavier gear, canvas, wool, um, anything, oil cloth, that S needle just always shines through. So I have a couple extra straight needles in there, but S needles are always my go-to. Um, let's keep going. And then I also have a pocket knife that I threw in there just as a backup blade. Okay, now I have just, just this larger catch-all style bag that I have just various types of um, bank line, paracord, jute twine, everything in here. Whatever kind of cordage I need, I got in there for myself and I still have room for a lot more, um, but that's my rope bag. And then I have this bag, which is all my fire starting stuff. Okay, so we'll go through this because I know people are always interested in, you know, what do you carry for fire starting? Now, what I want you to remember is I have a ferro rod and I have a lighter and I have fire starters in the front of my kit. So normally that's like what I'm grabbing out of there. But I like to carry this extra stuff along with me, not only because I like to have a lot of extra fire starting stuff, but it's easy for me with YouTube and teaching. I can just pull this out and I have just about everything we're gonna need. So I carry the Yuko Storm Matches, all right? I try to keep them um, along with me at all times. And then I do have some var various fire starters at different times in here. Right now, these are the biofuel tabs from um, Yuko. So I have a couple of those in here I was messing around with. I throw them in. If people give me fire starters at classes, they go right in this kit. Um, I have an extra lighter in here. I think it's super important to have a lot of lighters with you. Easiest way to make fire, okay? I have some more of our homemade fire starters here. Okay, so I got those. And then this tin here, of course, is uh, empty. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, this would be my char tin. I'm gonna have to make some char pretty soon. And then I have here is my flint and steel kit with a ton of extra flint. You can never, never have enough flint, so I carry extra, and they seem to walk away at classes a lot. Um, other than that, I do have a magnification lens in here too, even though I'm not the biggest fan of solar. Um, I do carry that along with me just uh, as a training aid. So that's what I keep in my fire kit. Now inside the Filson pack, there's a zipper component and a just a slide component. Slide component, I don't have nothing in there right at the time. In the zipper component, I have my headlamp. And then I have a secondary light. This one can clip on the brim of my hat. Super stylish, but convenient for sure. If that other one goes dead, I have a backup light until I could charge it or throw some extra batteries in it. And then I have my multi-tool. I think a good pair of pliers is always important. So I have a multi-tool. Um, this is a Gerber uh, multi-tool. I like it. It has all the features that I'm looking for in it. So uh, I rock this one. And then this is my most recent addition. I got a silky saw. Um, I'm always using Mike's, who's one of my instructors and friends, and he said he, I'm not allowed to use it anymore, so I had to go buy my own. Um, just something small. This thing fits in my haversack um, really, really well, and uh, I like it. Cuts really nice. And that's it. That is the gear that I normally carry. Again, there is not food inside of there, so I don't have that along. And um, if I was going out for multiple days, okay, um, somewhere other than we're just camping here at the school property, then I would probably take along with me a larger water bottle and ditch the flask. The thing is here at the school property, we have the cabin, we have the yurt, all the camps have extra pots and stuff at them. So that's why I don't have that included right now. But again, if I was gonna go out and we're gonna spend some time away from here, I would definitely have in this um, a different water bottle, something I can boil in. And then I would also really think about taking some type of small kettle um, along with me. That way I can cook inside of that. And then all my food goes inside my haversack. 
generally you can get two or three days worth of stuff in there if you're not getting elaborate and you're taking stuff like rice and beans and um, maybe some vacuum sealed like steaks or something along with you especially this time of the year they'll hold for a couple days fresh meat so vacuum seal them and juice doesn't get everywhere and you're good to go so that's my gear loadout for 2020 slash 2021 winter and uh, will I change it? I don't know, I'm really, I'm digging it, I like it, I feel like everything that I need is there, and uh, I'm happy with it. Now I know this is what people ask all the time and I finish every one of these videos out. What about medical kits? So I do have a little bit of tape in my repair kit. I have cotton material, band-aids, and things like that. Um, I can just make on the fly. If it's an extreme medical emergency, I'm probably not gonna be able to treat it in the field anyway, so I sort of avoid that. I'm not a big medicine person. I don't really ever take medicine. I don't wanna say I don't ever take medicine. I know that, that probably sounds crazy. I, I, I'm not a consistent person. I'm like, oh, upset stomachs or headaches or anything. So it's very rare that I'm popping any type of pills for anything. So in this case, to carry that extra stuff, because something might happen. I, I just don't see value for myself in it. But that's not saying don't carry that along with you. And then the last thing is change of clothes or rain gear. Um, this time of the year, we're not gonna get rain. It's probably gonna be snow because it's cold enough. So I'm not too worried about that. I would just dress a little bit more appropriately than I am now if I was going to go out and I thought it might rain or snow. And then, uh, I guess like socks, underwear, yeah, maybe I'd throw an extra pair in. But again, that has to be, I don't think there's a one set. This is what my kit is and it can never change. I'm not gonna add anything. This is like my base and then I have to throw some things in here or there, but I don't really take anything out of this gear. Like this gear I don't ever really remove. This is what's here, I might add to it. But it all fits in a bag and I'm happy with it. So I hope it gives you some ideas. Definitely share some things that you have in your kit or gear you think I should try out and maybe fall in love with and uh, be big happy Bushcraft family. So this was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our merchandise, our school, all that good stuff. And um, until the next video, stay in the woods.